The town of the Grindavik from three directions is surrounded by the lava flows from the previous eruptions. This is a fortified town practically, like a castle between the enemies. And what we see around the sourcing is nothing better. We see that the uh, actual uh, geothermal power plant is also surrounded by the lava. And in the north there was breaches, you can see that. Although there is not a visible lava, and the risk assessment also shows that the visible lava for the sword sengi as uh, in the area one, and also for the uh, Sondunka crater chain series there, the uh, area three is reduced. Although by no means it means that the seismic have activity has stopped in the area. We see that over the past uh, week, the amount of the earthquakes have continued to rise gradually. This is due to the uh, boundary between the Eurasia and Americas. This is a plate boundary being pulled apart by the forces of the uh, earth plates. As you can see, this is not in the vertical direction. Otherwise, we had we would have had a gap in that direction. Eruption would be along the line. It's not like that. It is in the cracks which are in the Eurasia. We see the magma accumulation is starting also and uh, keeping pace with the previous eruptions, as you can see for the Skipiatsky, Heron and Swartzengi. And within uh, two, three weeks, we will have uh, magma reaching the same level of them as and also probably uh, eruption. The uh, tremor chart shows that the activity is continuing day and night unless there is a bad weather to actually fortify, complete the fortification of the Swartzengi and the areas around the uh, town of the Grindavik. And this is what the uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office has announced. And you can see that 20 earthquakes over the dike, which actually is the magma uh, uh, passage, and 260 earthquakes in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland, where these things are happening, we are expecting within one, two, three weeks, probably within the July, we should say, to have an eruption in this area.